In this video, I'll show you how to remove audio from a video on your PC. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Here's the video which I want to go and remove the audio from. So I'm gonna go and quickly play it to you guys now. Here's the video which I want to go and remove the sound from. So there you go, you get the idea that this video currently has audio. So to go and remove it, we actually need to go and use a video editor. However, I know a free online one, which I'll show you exactly how to go and use. So first you go and open up a web browser and then go to any search engine and you can use any browser. I use Google Chrome and Google, but you can use any. And then all you want to do is go and search for this free video editor called CapCut. You spell that C-A-P-C-U-T. You may have heard of CapCut before. It's quite a popular mobile app. Let's go and search for it just like so and make sure you go to the official website, which is CapCut.com. Go and click here. And then once you're on the website, all you need to do is scroll down and go and tap on edit video online like this. And it's going to go and take you straight to a project. I recommend just creating a blank canvas like this because we don't need a template. Now, what we need to do is go and upload the video which we want to go and remove the audio from. So go and tap on this left-hand side menu here and our file explorer will open. Then find the video and go and tap on open. And as you can see on the left-hand side, it's now uploading and it doesn't take long at all. After it's finished uploading, it will then say transcoding and this is a really quick process. Now CapCut is a full blown video editor, so there's so many things we can do with it. In this case, I'm just showing you how you can go and remove audio and mute audio. Um, but yeah, you can do loads of things with it. So now it's finished transcoding, we now need to go and add the video to our sort of timeline, I guess. So all you need to do is hover your mouse over it and then go and tap on this green plus button in the bottom right. And as you can see, is we've now gone and added it to our timeline. So to go and mute it, to the left of it, we've got this sound icon. All you need to do is go and tap on it like so and that's gonna go mute it. If you just want to go and make the audio quieter, then you could just go to the top right and tap on audio, and then you can go and turn this down to zero as well. However, you can mute it or just reduce the audio. It does the same thing. Then once you're happy with it, all you need to do is go to the top right and go and tap on export like so. And this is gonna save it back to your computer. You are gonna to need to go and create a free account. So yeah, I've already got an account, so I'm gonna log in. But if you don't, just tap sign up and go and create an account. Then I'm gonna go and tap log in like this and I'll show you what to do next. After you've logged in or created an account, then go back to the top right again and go and tap on export like this. Then as you can see, we can now export it. So I'm gonna go and name this um, just like sound removed or something like that as an example, but you can name it anything. You can then choose the resolution and their advanced settings as well. So you can go and increase the quality, the frame rate, the format, that's all fine for me. Then I'm gonna go and tap on export just like so, and it's gonna go and take a moment. And as you can see, we can now go and see the percentage counter. Now I found this counter suddenly sort of jumps, so maybe stuck on zero for a bit of time, but then it's suddenly gonna jump up. And just like that, it's all finished. So then all you need to do is go and tap on download to the right like so, and the file will then download. In Google Chrome, files are downloading in the top right, but you may need to go and open up your file explorer to go and find it. So yeah, just open it up and go to your downloads folder. And then here we are in the downloads folder, and here is the video which I just went and downloaded. And now if I go and double click on it and go and start playing it, you're going to hear that there's no sound. As you can see, nothing is being played. If you guys found this video useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.